This is Tom Holland for Field Target Tech. I uh, just rolled into Victor, New York. I'm at the Crossman shoot. It is Thursday um, around 5 o'clock or so. And uh, as I said I was going to do, and I have the opportunity to do it, by, being that I have a little bit of time to kill, is I'm going to do another, another review on a different pellet gauge that Mr. Jerry Couples from Pellet Gauge has sent to me. Um, this is the original one I have which you could put the pellet in um, a four point, I'm going to read this now, a 4.47 hole all the way up to a 4.56 and you can figure out what size pellet you need by determining which hole it falls into and which one it doesn't. With the new and improved pellet gauge here, um, he, the pellet gauge R, he has several plates um, for a particular size and I'll show you those plates in a minute um, what he does is my particular size is that my a lot of my guns like is a 4.51 so he gave me a plate um, the laser engraved plate for a 4.50 and a 4.52 now I'm going to show you all these parts I'm going to reposition the camera. I'm going to show you all the parts that you have and what it comes with and uh, how to put it together. And I did a little bit of an improvement on it I think because I had some extra parts and it makes it easy, a little bit easier so that the pellets don't roll out of it. So let me reposition the camera and we'll be right back and I'll show you how that pellet gauge goes together. Okay guys what you see here is what comes with uh, the pellet gauge. Uh, he sent them in two separate packages to me and I have some extra screws and everything which we don't need but each package comes with one plate, one of the spacers and one of the, the, the guide plate and then one of these spacers and each um, each plate comes with two of these so we only need technically two of them to put this together and I have two extra ones and I'm going to show you what we do to those what I'm going to do to them so it makes it a little bit easier as you see up here we have four Phillips screw screws about an inch long with washers and we have the stands which are basically these are like long couplings long nuts so the first thing you do is you take the easiest way to put it together is to take what you're going to put on top by the instructions. So this is going to be the top piece and then a spacer plate just below that. Now you put the larger of the two plates, this one is a 4.52 I don't know if the camera can pick that up but this is a 4.52 and that goes on the bottom and you got to make sure that they're lined up properly next plate we're going to put on another one of these spacers then the 4.50 plate then the last bottom spacer now to make this a little bit easier to use being that the two extra spacers do come with this and this has his one of them has his insignia pellet gauge 177.com on it and the other two are plain so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those two on and put his pellet gauge name on the first that way it makes a barrier so when you put the pellets in I found and you shake them around to fall to make them fall through they don't fall overboard on you it stays contained so that's my little trick and I don't know if uh, he probably recommends you do that also so after it's all lined up the easiest way to do it is just to put these screws all through and just put them together loosely so you can get all the rest of them uh, this is a very precision made device so if all these holes line up nice and easy when you first put it together it's pretty much going to stay that way. I found that um, once these are all lined up and screwed together 
Uh, you don't have to shift them around or really play with them too much in order to make them uh, fit properly. They is such a fine fit and everything here is absolutely precision made. Um, I don't know how he, he does it with his machines. Now once it's all together, you want to make sure it's all, all square. I just make sure that everything's even with each other and you can just give it, just hold the screw and give it a little tighten. Hold the screw, give it a little tighten. And you do that on all four of them. There's no need to get a screwdriver onto this and really crank on it because you will crack the plastic very easily. Okay. So now we are left with this. Now what this does is you have two plates now. You have a 4.52 on the top and you have a 4.50 on the bottom. So now when you take a bunch of these in and throw them in there and hopefully get them down head first and you'll see that almost all of these that one is you'll see some of them that are all the way down flush with the skirt those are sticking out the bottom and the skirt is being held so those that are all down are, are too are too small that one right there now the ones that you see here that are down these four are the, are the proper size those are the ones that I would be looking for now any one of them that sticks up higher than these and I tried doing this off camera and I couldn't find any of them that were really larger than that um, and there's one there Oh, they're all they're all the same. Either they're all too too small and fall through, or they uh, and you just tap them around a little bit. Those are the ones that I want. The ones that fall through that are all the way down where you can't feel the skirt. Those are the ones that are too small. So I wouldn't use those. And these ones here sticking up, I would use. And if there was one sticking up even further than these. I wouldn't use that one either. So this is, these are the pellets that I would be looking for. These three or four that you see sticking up higher. Um, like I said, you can just pour them in and, and shake them around. And it makes, it makes for sorting them a whole lot quicker and easier. Um, and you can, you know, lightly straighten them out. And you see that one just fell right through. Um, and you don't have to put a full... 50 of them in here or however many it is because and as you can see the ones that stick up are the ones I I use and the ones that fell down are the ones I will not use and that's basically how this gauge is used um, I went through several tins of pellets and I could not find one that stuck up even higher than these couple here uh, just to show you what uh, an un, um, a larger oversized pellet looks like. But that's basically it and how it works. So I know that the pellets that fell through are smaller than 4.50. And these ones that are all hanging up here with the skirt are 4.51. And any of the ones that would be higher than this, touching the other plate, the higher plate, um, which I don't have any in this in these tins that do that. Um, those would be too large of a head size, so you wouldn't use those um, either. They would stand a whole lot prouder than these here uh, few that you see sticking out. So those those four or five are going to be the ones I use, and the ones that fell through are the ones I will not use. And it, if I can turn this carefully upside down without losing too much of it you can see on the bottom of it the heads are actually sticking down past that lower first plate so the, all of those pellets are proven to be too small for what I'm using them for so basically guys that's that's all there is to using this thing um, it's a very it's a very simple 
device to use. It's a lot quicker than doing uh, doing the original pellet gauge, putting them in one at a time and figuring out is it too big, is it too small, and having to go with one pellet in several different holes and take all the time. This one here saves you a lot of time and energy by eliminating that step of trying this one through several, several holes. This one you just take it and shake it around a little bit and you can see the ones that I will keep. And let me just move the camera back here a little bit. Okay, but that's all there is to using it. Um, this is a great little device. I don't know, well, he sent this to me so I can uh, show you guys. Um, I don't know what the price of this is offhand. Um, it, it's, it's probably one of my most valuable things um, in, in addition to this one, uh, to sorting pellets. It is much more quick, it's efficient. You could probably do five, more, five times more pellets in the same amount of time that you would do that you use with the original one. So, um, as I said, the only thing that I did extra that he didn't show on the uh, uh, instructions was I put two more of those spacer plates so when the pellets are in, well, those two ran out, but you, they, they won't fall overboard and everything, so they stay in. But uh, that's basically how you use it and, it's pro and th that product. Um, it's probably like I said, it's 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 a great tool to use and if you guys that weigh them and use uh, You know the rolling method and weighing them and you don't have one of these yet You should get one of these because it's it's going to be a very invaluable thing uh, for Competitive perfection or if you just don't want to miss anything um, Before I ever used the pellet gauge and weighed them and everything, I would get three or four, maybe five mystery shots in a 60 shot match. Now, I'm getting maybe one to none. Um, it is, it is, for me, it's a noticeable difference um, of basically hitting your target or not. Um, that's it. That's my review of the Pellet Gauge R by Mr. Jerry Couples for, of Pellet Gauge. And I want to thank him again for sending this to me. And this is going to, this is probably going to be, uh, it's going to speed things up a whole lot for me. Um, and I'll show you guys groups that I've shot with these, out of the tins, sorted, not sorted, and all that in the future. But that will be a little bit down the road because uh, I have a competition to figure out this weekend. So, my name is Tom Holland, and this is Field Target Tech.